There have been several enhancements to the drilling functionality in PowerMill 2014. Included in these enhancements are support for external thread milling using a thread milling tool, the ability now to apply draft to a threaded boss or a threaded hole, and finally the ability to reduce the feed rate when the drill breaks through an intersecting hole. This is particularly useful when gun drilling with small diameter very long drills. Let's have a look at these, uh, this list of new functionality in this example project. First of all we're going to look at the varying the feed rate at hole intersections. So here we have uh, an example of a mold tool plate, uh, an ejector plate, and we have a series of holes, uh, smaller holes, that intersect larger holes. We've already created the hole features by simply recognizing the holes in the model. Now before we can apply the varying feed rate at the hole intersections, we need to find all intersections of all holes in PowerMill. This is a simple operation. We simply right click on the feature set. Uh, in addition to where we have recognized holes in model, we also have find hole intersections. So this will scan through all the holes and display all the hole intersections and identify all the hole intersections. So here we can see the hole features all dis displayed with the hole intersections. So now it's simply a case of creating our drilling toolpath and activating the feed rate, uh, various feed rates at the intersection points. So I have a toolpath already created. If I go to settings, simply clone that toolpath. So just to show you um, how we vary the hole feed rates, we're going to create a single peck, drill hole to depth. Now you'll notice there's a new page on the drilling form called feed rate reduction. So we're going to reduce the feed rate at hole, intersection, hole intersections. Now I want the feed rate to be fully reduced at least 5 millimeters before the actual intersection of the hole. And I want the um, overall distance for the feed rate reduction to start to be say 20 millimeters. So from 20 millimeters to five millimeters, uh, that's when the feed rate will be reduced. And I want to do that in four steps. And I want the feed rate, the final feed rate, to be 30% of the general feed rate, and I want the spindle speed to be 50% of the general spindle speed. So if we go back to our drilling form and select all our holes, and then simply calculate the toolpath. So obviously the toolpath doesn't look any different uh, until we switch on the draw points. And then if we zoom in, we can see it's added in extra points within the toolpath. So here we see at five millimeters before the intersection, the feed rate will be fully reduced and an extra 20 millimeters on top of the 5 millimeters is when the feed rate will start to be reduced and the feed rate has been reduced in four increments. If we want to we can do draw feeds, drawing option, draw feeds and then we can see the exact feed rates that are going to be used. So our general feed rate is a thousand and we drop down to 30 percent which is 300. The second and third uh, new drilling enhancements involves thread milling. 
So here we have a, a second part. Just switch off the toolpath. Deactivate our work plane. So we have a simple uh, plate with a tapered internal hole and an external boss. So we're going to apply a thread milling operation to both of these features. First we need to create a thread milling tool. Now I have a tool already created. So it's a thread milling tool with a diameter 36 with a 4 millimeter pitch. So it's M36 with coarse 4 millimeter pitch. I have a toolpath already created to save time. Let's just clone that toolpath. So it's a thread milling operation. And the new feature for 2014 is the ability now to apply draft to these threaded holes. So here we can see it's picked up the draft angle automatically from the hole feature. We're going to do a number of pass right hand thread with an angle lead in, 4 mil pitch, and we're going to do 10 turns and then calculate. Close. So there we can see the tapered helical thread for the internal hole. To do the thread milling on the external boss, then it needs to be defined as a circular boss, not as a hole, obviously. So I already have that defined in my feature set as a boss. And again, I have a toolpath pre-created with all the parameters saved. So I'm going to clone that. And then there's a new type of drilling cycle called external thread. This is new for 2014. And again, it allows us to use a draft angle if we have a draft angle. So number of turns, four, pitch four, and then calculate. So there we have our external thread milling toolpath.